Hello everyone and welcome back to on our channel. If you don't know or now you know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to check out my Instagram right here below me or also I will put it in the description box. So in this video, I will show you how to find Shopify stores based on a language. Because earlier on my channel, I did post like a week ago, I did post a video on how to find Maybe it's gonna be 10 days or two weeks ago. It depends on scheduling this video and so on. In that video, I did show how to find Shopify stores based on a country or by countries. And I did get a message from a subscriber on my Instagram uh, saying that it wasn't helpful for his case because he's trying to find Shopify stores based on a language. Because in his region or in his country, uh, people do not use the extensions for their country because there is a regulation for that. They use the uh, just .com or .net or whatever it's available for the name so it's not uh, available for them to use the extension name for their country so a lot of people or competitions or his competitor are using .com and the regular extensions for domain names so he wants to know how he can find Shopify stores based on a specific language and that's exactly what I want to show you in this video however in my previous video as I said I showed the trick using Google search engine so I'm not gonna use that because what's the value here what's the point if using the same trick I'm going to show you a different trick or a different website by using the biggest database in the world for Shopify stores yes this is the biggest database it has I don't know thousand more than thousands of course hundreds of thousands or a million Shopify store in their database and it's actually updated each day so basically it's a bot it's a bot that's crawling the web and uh, scanning for Shopify stores based on the DNS on uh, and also the WIS database to capture domain names that has been registered to either Shopify or have the DNS to Shopify so they capture those domain names and put them on a list so that website have the option to search by language not to search by language but actually to filter out by language and you can search by exact date for example 9 January or 5 January whatever the day you want so I'm going to show you how to use that website to search for Shopify stores based on the language and also I will show you how to use the website to search for Shopify stores based on a keyword because the website does not have the search bar it does have the search bar but only to search for a specific website and I will show you that in a moment so if you access the search bar there it will tell you to paste in a link and look for it on the website but if you want to search for a keyword inside this biggest database for Shopify stores uh, currently they do not give you the option however you are watching on how channel everything is possible here so if you are a long time subscriber you know that I always find tricks I always find uh, work around to restrictions and all of that to do or to find the things you are looking for to succeed in your journey so without any more talking let's just get to it so the website here its name is Merchant Genius I will put the link for it in the description box no worries just scroll down the description box and you will see the website and here is the website as you can see it has this uh, weird floating uh, ads I don't know this is actually AdSense as you can see Google ads by Google uh, it's approved to show ads like this floating uh, it's been years since uh, I did I did work with AdSense I'm using different uh, networks now I don't know if they still accept this or what is the case here anyway so as you can see once you access the website you will see the latest Shopify stores in here and the date here is oh 9 January so <laughs> the exact example I gave you so this is the 9 January the website that has been found using uh, the trick I uh, said in 9 January so as you can see here it says uh, our system scans for uh, Shopify stores let me highlight this so you can see it clearly our system scans for Shopify stores based on their domain registering dates however this is not accurate because domain names are not registered in the exact date where it's showing us here for example let's just go for this first one here uh, let's just click on it just to copy the name here so as you can see the website is 10 years old it has been created or registered on 5 January 2023 however on the website it says it's only has been registered on the 9 
January, as you can see, 9 January, which is not accurate. I don't know how the, that works, but anyway, that's not the, the, the purpose of the video, obviously. I'm just saying that so you guys know this is not accurate. Make sure if you want to know that information is accurate or not, make sure to check just the like, like the way I did it. Anyway, so I said how to find Shopify stores by language using the biggest database, which is Merchant Genius, and I will put the link for it in the description box. The first thing I'm going to do is pick a date for example to to search for it let's just go for 5 5 january which is the date there where the website was registered and after that you can see all the websites here as you can see this is british 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 all oh, this looks like british websites shopify stores uh, some german here us uh, sweden so to search by by language head over all the way to the top of the page as you can see it says 4261 so to do that simply click on the filter by shop language and you can see all the languages for example let's just uh, remove english from this list okay so we removed english as you can see it's the first one becomes uh, the french in europe this is Chinese, but in USD, so the shop is using the, the USD. This is all French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, French. So you can find Shopify stores, also Mexico here. So you can find Shopify stores based on the language. However, as I said, I'm going to show you how to use this website to find Shopify stores based on a keyword because as I said does not give you the option so let's just click on here as you can see it says search here if I click on it it will give you the search bar but it says here paste in a domain name if I type in here LAD and hit enter oops it does not work you need to paste in a domain name here to find uh, to look up the Shopify stores available on their system or not but as I said you are watching on how channel everything is possible here so to do that Simply, the first thing you're going to do is copy the link. Make sure to copy it without the, the HTTP or the WW. And after you copy the link, head over to our friend, our the best friend, which is Google search engine. Google search engine and type in site, two dots, and paste the link for the website. Just like I did right here. So right now, if I hit enter, as you can see, all the results here will be the same website. As you can see, all the results here are the same website which is the biggest database for Shopify stores so to filter out this by using only the keyword for example just go for this one right here agent let's just go for this keyword agent sample thing you need to do which is if you are a subscriber of my channel you might already know this and you think you already figured it out so simply hit space and type in in text two dots and two quotation marks and between them as I said we're going to go for agent after that simply hit enter and every Shopify store will show up here has to do with Asian as you can see and I said it has thousands of Shopify stores thousands of Shopify stores as you can see so that's how you can use this trick to find Shopify stores the, the website does not let you search by keyword and you can use this trick to search through any website not just this one we just use it this one because that's what the subscriber asked for and here we go so if you have any questions just like him make sure to drop me a comment below or a message on my instagram right here below me also i will put it in the description box otherwise i think my job is done so thank you for watching and catch you on the next one